How many different ways can a baseball manager arrange a batting lineup of nine players? Now to represent the lineup of nine players, I'm just going to start using letters, player A, player B, player C, and so on, until we have nine of them. So let's see, that's three, six, nine. Okay, so these letters represent the nine players. And let's talk about the first position in batting, the leadoff position. Now typically managers will put their best hitter first, at least the one who's most likely to get on base. So let's just say the manager's going to pick somebody at random. Um, we'll just pick A here. So for this first position, A has already been selected. That means all of these other players could be second. So we'll put B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So there are nine possible players when you're starting off picking the first position. And then for the second position, there are only eight players left over. And let's say he chooses B. And then for third, it would be players C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So then there are seven players left over here. And so you can see what's happening is you're counting down 9, 8, 7. Each time you pick a player, moving on to the next position in the lineup, there's one less player. So if you continue this pattern, let's see, let's do one more for fourth, which is called cleanup in the lineup. D, E, F, G, H, I. And now there are only six positions left. So this is going to keep counting down. So fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. It's going to keep counting down. Five, four, three, two, one. And now this is just the fundamental counting principle. So what you do is you multiply these numbers, 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5, all the way down to 1, and that'll tell you how many different ways the manager can arrange the lineup. And there's a shorter way to write this. It's just called 9 factorial. Okay, and notice that order matters in this case. So this is a permutation. So order matters because, I mean, you have nine players in nine positions in the batting lineup, and we're talking about who's going to hit first, who's going to hit second, who's going to hit third. So order definitely matters here. That's why it's a permutation. And to find the permutation, you just use the fundamental counting principle and count down here. So nine factorial. Let's figure that out on a calculator. So I'll put the 9 first, and then I have to find the factorial key, which on this calculator is in the probability menu. And to find the factorial on your calculator, you have to look for the exclamation point. It might actually be on one of the keys where you hit shift or something else, but you just have to look on your own calculator and see where it is. On mine, you can see it's number 4 here. So 9 factorial, that's a big number, 362,880. So that's how many different ways the manager could arrange a lineup using 9 players and 9 positions.